Claire already learned this, right, Jeff? <laughs> uh, so I thought you were going to ask me the question, and how many of you were smart enough to move to Brooklyn College from somewhere else? <laughs> anyway, I'm delighted to be here. And I see that some of you I don't see quite so well, so I'll move over a little bit. Um, and I'm especially delighted that you are here. So we love welcoming all of our alumni back, but we especially take pride in welcoming our outstanding alumni and their families. And even if they're not here with us, we are thinking about them. I was thinking about Al Tanger as I was driving over tonight and how many wonderful moments I spent with him. And I, you know, I really didn't know that much about Brooklyn College because I'd only been there three weeks. But I had to say something, so I said, welcome to Brooklyn College. Uh, we are the Brooklyn Renaissance. Because I knew that Brooklyn, my daughter had lived in Williamsburg, she went to NYU, I knew that Brooklyn was, you know, a cool place. And I had no idea <laughs> how cool it was going to become <laughs> in the five and a half years after that. So, you know, what's happening in Brooklyn is also what's happening at Brooklyn College, except that what's happening at Brooklyn College is one of the reasons that Brooklyn is becoming more and more cool. Mm -hmm. And I'm not overstating that, truly, because the college, uh, I was showing diversity uh, figures today, as a matter of fact, of our incoming freshmen over the last six years. It is remarkable. The quality and the diversity of our incoming students, our retention rates are going up, which means our graduation rates are going up. And I always say, it doesn't matter if we recruit them, it matters if we graduate them. You are all proof of that. And it has never been, as you know, reading the news, listening to the radio, it has never been more important than now. And it will be five years and 10 years from now that the students that we teach and guide and mentor graduate because we are living in a global economy where if you don't, you know this, right? So it is tremendously important and I want to thank the Alumni Association because they have been so um, faithful in terms of recognizing that importance of helping us with student scholarships and of spreading the message that we really care not only about bringing this wonderfully diverse group of students to our campus and educating them well, but also making sure that they are fully prepared for uh, the next step, whether that's graduate school or otherwise in the market marketplace. I want to make um, a special welcome to my colleague, Lisa Stanyakoyko, yeah. because Lisa and I sit through many meetings together. <laughs> <laughs> and we usually wink at each other <laughs> because we agree on so many things. And she is doing such a great job at City College. Lisa, we are on. Vinny, we have crossed paths many times, and I'm delighted to have you here. And uh, I think I'll stop now and just say welcome back, or welcome back after a very long time. And I hope that you will come back, and it won't take that long next time, right? <laughs> <laughs> and that you'll see Brooklyn College in the daytime, when it's beautiful outside, or even when it's snowy. And that you'll also come back uh, in about a year plus. Let, let's just say safely 14 months to see the beautiful new Leonard and Tell Claire Tao Performing Arts Center that is behind the library. And it will be magnificent. So have a wonderful time and let's hear about all of the accolades that you deserve. <laughs>